hi hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so we are starting a new series that is on SCCM so in this series there's gonna be a series of videos where we are gonna touch about the SCCM basic uh, installation the, and the basic requirements uh, we'll be talking about uh, SCCM discovery by methods boundary boundary groups central administration sites, SCCM site hierarchies, we'll talk about SCCM, MECM, scalability limit, we'll also talk about the collections, we'll talk about configuration reports, installing clients, installing different rules like software reporting, uh, WSS, we'll talk about distribution, configuration of distribution management point, uh, we'll see how we can upgrade the SCCM uh, SCCM site itself, how we can do the in console upgrade, how to deploy an application, software deployment, uh, updates deployment, uh, OSD and uh, other features as well. So we'll start from the basic where we will see how we can install the SCCM from the basic and also we'll show you how we can, uh, how we can install the SCCM using Microsoft template. Microsoft do provide the template. Uh, by using those template you can easily configure the SCCM lab uh, without having much trouble or uh, without having uh, a deeper understanding of SCCM so we can we can install the SCCM uh, the SCCM Microsoft provided template on Hyper-V if you have if you have a good uh, hardware on your machine and uh, we can also do that on uh, Azure as well so uh, let's start from the basic so We'll talk about the basic stuff first like uh, what is SCCM and why it is being used and what are its key benefits of uh, using SCCM. So SCCM stand for System Center Configuration Manager. It's a product developed by Microsoft and it's a very powerful tool to manage, deploy, softwares applications update across enterprise enterprise client or environment uh, conf imagine yourself as a as an administrator big enterprise company and you wanted to deploy a software on on every single machine just imagine doing it by manually will take a lot of man manual efforts manpowers time and a lot of headache that you will gonna be taking care but doing it from SCCM it will be very easy you will have a controlled deployment and it end-to-end -end, uh, automatic process actually now let's talk about the uh, history of SCCM so SCCM was firstly launched about launched as a name of SMS SMS 1.0 system center management server and it was launched in 1994 uh, when it was launched it, it was focused on software distrib distribution inventory management and windows based system on windows based system basically later on sms 2.0 was released on in 1992 uh, where there was a significant improvement uh, where they have included Microsoft has included comprehensive software distribution capability of better support for remote management uh, in 2003 SMS 2003 was released uh, it was having a feature that was in SMS 2.0 and it has enhanced reporting improved client management and support for other devices as well later on uh, in 2007 it was formally named as system center configuration manager the rebranding was done and that this part and this was the time when they have the Microsoft has introduced a lot of new features with a better automations and improved patch management basically in 2007 uh, later on 2020 12 uh, system center 2012 configuration manager was released where the major update happened at this time where the new features was included uh, including application management 
user centric management support for mobile device like smartphone and tablets was introduced at this time later uh, system center 2012 r2 was released where they have included the application deployment compliance settings and mobile device management and some enhanced security later system center current branch was released where uh, where they have shifted the update model to current branch starting in somewhere around 2015 the model provide more frequent update and feature enhancement so that's why it has name as the current branch and as of now system center 2309 that is the latest known update as of now in October 2023 that is going on so this was a brief history about the CCM. Uh, let's move into further and talk about some benefits of using SCCM. So first benefit that we got from SCCM is a centralized management. So what do you mean by centralized management is SCCM provide a single centralized platform for managing devices uh, IT assets including server, workstations, laptop, mobile device and this is a centralized approach where you can streamline management tasks and reduce the need of multiple tools in your environment to manage your devices. Uh, second benefit is, uh, is software deployment. These tools enable seamless automated deployment of software applications, update to the devices through organization and ensure that you have a have a formal or a, a, a baseline of softwares that you wanted to deploy to your environment and it, it's also reduced the risk of vulnerabilities third is the patch management patch management is referring as a update update or patching so SCCM do provide a uh, patching support uh, not exactly patching support but the process to deploy security patches and updates across a wider range of systems using a CCM and uh, you can maintain securely and compliance your in IT infrastructure using patch management the fourth is inventory and asset management so a CCM do offer robust inventory tracking and has, has the capability of allowing your uh, organization to monitor hardware and software and can also track the licensing to install the to ensure that you meet the compliance of your software usage policies uh, fifth point is the remote control uh, remote control is the features that enable IT administrator to troubleshoot and uh, provide a support to the end users without being physically present that means if you wanted to take the control of any any machine you can do it uh, from the SCCM and it it comes with no cost you don't have to do you don't have to pay any cost for it sixth is security and compliance the tool assist in enforcing the security policy and compliance standard by enforcing that device to take the policy from software center and update it operating system deployment I would say it's the heart of the SCCM uh, SCCM simplify the process of deploying managing operating system across devices reduce the time efforts and reduce the system image and provisioning process as well and the last one I would say reporting analysis SCCM do provide a robust analysis uh, reporting for the IT team so that they can track the software usage, software deployment, patching and uh, software metering and other other reporting purpose as well. So this was the brief benefit of using SCCM and here are the some of the basic terminologies that is being used in SCCM. So first is the SCCM and then we have the site. Site is a logical group of SCCM components that correspond to a specific location 
or administrator boundary within your organization so that is called a site site server uh, the site server is the core server component of the SCCM site it hosts the site server database process data and manage communication between the client then uh, then we have oh no, number four we missed we have client client is uh, we can say a managed device with in your organization that SCCM client agent is installed that is known as client so the client communication to the SCCM component to receive policies software update and execute management task client agent the software installed on the management device that facilitate the communication between clients and SCCM servers SCCM server component is known as SSM agent or SSM client so it's a very uh, important tool or uh, agent that play an important role deployment uh, deployment uh, means to process of distributing or installing a software application update and configuring the client devices collection uh, collection is a group of SCCM managed devices that share a certain criteria or attribute. Collections are also used to target deployment policies on a specific set of devices. Collections can be created on device basis or on user basis. It's, it's based on your requirement. Then we come with package and program. A package is a container of files uh, and a program that are distributed to a client a program specify how a package should be executed to the client including command lines and and the execution conditions task sequence uh, what's a task sequence okay task sequence uh, we can take it a task sequence is a step of defined process or a, def a step of defined steps that perform a specific task it could be a deployment or it could be operating system deployment it could be application installation or it could be a configuration as well so it's a step of process that is defined together distribution point so distribution point is a set of rule that stores the distribute content like packages applications update os image OS drivers, client settings, and others. Now, number 12, that is software update point, also known as SOAP. It's a site system role responsible for synchronization, downloading, distributing software update to a client. Advertisement. Advertisement is a configuration that specify a deployment settings for a package application or task sequence is known as advertisement I would say uh, compliance settings okay compliance settings uh, compliance settings okay configuration items or baselines that allows you to access or enforce enforce compliance with a desired configuring setting suppose if you wanted to deploy a specific set of settings that can be done from a compliance settings in a simple word discovery uh, discovery is a process by SCCM where it can identify add devices database or other other devices I mean other users as well uh, based on the type of discovery we have in our environment it could be active active directory discovery system discovery network discovery and heartbeat discovery so it's it's based on discovery itself reporting i mean it's it's very simple ssm reporting ssm provider a wider range of reporting to their administrators to help to analyze data related to software deployment applications hardware inventory compliance and and furthermore endpoint protection endpoint protection i would say it's an inbuilt feature 
for managing and deploying anti-malware policies and protect the client device for security threats. Uh, collections query language. Collections query language is used to define queries for uh, creating collection based on a specific criteria allowing a dynamic or a device based collections. Maintenance window. So maintenance window define a period during the SCCM client are allowed to perform software installation, updates and other maintenance activity within the defined period of time. So these are known as, uh, this is known as maintenance window. So these are the key terms that are basically used or very frequently is used in SCCM. So now uh, in the next video we are going to see how we can install uh, how we can install or how we can configure the SCCM lab using Microsoft provided template on Azure and then once we uh, when once we deploy the lab on Azure we will do a practical on deploying a, a, a template lab on a Hyper-V as well and after that we will do a manual installation on a high on, on a on a vm machine where we will doing it from the scratch uh, you know you know uh, where we will do the basic uh, basic prereq and then will followed with the uh, sql installation ssm installation and everything so thank you so much for watching this video and please do like and subscribe the channel if you like it thank you so much